Hi, I am Rangarajesh Kumar. I am from uh, ASP.net tutorial online.blogspot.com and jQueryExampleCode.blogspot.com. Uh, this is my YouTube channel. You can able to see so many videos uh, related to jQuery and ASP.net and other uh, programming languages stuff from my channel. Uh, please subscribe my channel for future videos. Uh, this uh, in this chapter, I am going to explain about what is the this keyword in the jQuery and uh, uh, how you can use this uh, uh, keyword as a selector with an example. Okay, I'm entering into the code now. Uh, I'm going to write a function uh, which is going to click uh, on button click where we have to perform two three operations. Uh, for example, I'm going to write the button input type is equal to button. Okay, after that I'm going to write the value of the button saying that uh, uh, click me. Okay. After that, I'm going to give the ID of this button. BTN click. Okay. Just I'm going, going to close this uh, input tag and then I'm going to write a function which is going to perform some operations uh, whenever we are going to do a uh, click event on the function. This is script tag. Next one is uh, I'm going to click on this uh, BTN click. Okay dot click off function a uh, function of uh, here you have to write the event uh, so what event I wanted no, we need to write now uh, whenever we are going to uh, click on some button for example if you are going to do the payment option uh, uh, if you are going to click on the button it will uh, change the font uh, value of the button is uh, uh, please wait and then it should that button need to be disabled for that. I'm going to write the code now just uh, uh, BTN click uh, We are we are using this uh, ID so we have to put a hash symbol and then we need to write this uh, uh, button code again Okay, and then dot uh, attribute of value value okay and then please wait payment is processing okay and then I'm going to write one more uh, tag uh, uh, say disabling this uh, button uh, for uh, another uh, action should not happen so I'm making the attribute okay I'm making one more attribute uh, saying that uh, disabling the button okay so this is uh, disabled okay and I'm making uh, as disabled okay now I'm going to make the color of this button as uh, uh, yellow dot CSS of uh, uh, background color background color will be the yellow color okay uh, now I'm going to execute this uh, code okay uh, this code will be run and you will get the button whenever you are going to click on this this all operations was performed so if this is the uh, so this is disabled and the test font uh, test of test font uh, color uh, background color got uh, changed and then it is disabled these three operations was performed due to uh, which is uh, by using this code now I wanted to change this uh, code input type uh, I wanted to make uh, sure that I wanted to I need to use the button type okay now I have to write the code according to the button okay here what I have written button okay the, whenever I am going to use this button you have to use again same code over here okay again you have to use this code again you have to change this code and again you have to change this code okay uh, whenever you are going to do all button actions in the on the in the form so you have to write uh, this code accordingly so it will be very very problematic if you are having uh, uh, hundreds of lines of code uh, uh, in the in button one button click event so for this just we have to make sure that whenever we are going to use this keyword we can able to eliminate this kind of problems just 
you can easily say that this is this just you can write this only this keyword will be uh, will be uh, taking the present object whatever a button is also kind of object that present object event it will be catch and it will be working accordingly okay if you are going to run in uh, chrome uh, whenever you are going to click on any button in the uh, browser you will get uh, this operation you will get this action okay so like this we are going to perform different kinds of operation uh, using this keyword uh, so uh, we need to use this keyword whenever we are going to have more and more lines of code uh, will be having a single method i hope you enjoyed this video my friends uh, please like share and give your valuable comments on this video i will catch you in the uh, next video please subscribe this uh, youtube channel so that uh, you can get more updates from my end uh, have a great day my friend